Hey everyone! Today, I'm excited to show you how to use the Custom Fields feature in SEOmatic. Whether you're working with an unsupported CMS or a custom coded website, this feature will make your content generation process easier. Let's dive in. You might want to use custom fields for two main reasons. One, you're using an unsupported CMS and need to generate content to export in a CSV file for uploading into your CMS. Two, you don't have a CMS or you have a custom coded website. With SEOmatic, you can generate content and export it in JSON to send to your developers for display on your website. Custom fields let you create a customized content template that fits your page templates using drag and drop while leveraging our powerful features for large scale content creation like variables, spin syntax, and generative AI. First, let's create a new project. This time, select Custom Fields and click Next. By default, we only have a title field, which is mandatory. The title is crucial as it determines the number of pages you'll be creating. Let's take a concrete example. Imagine we have a page template for location pages and we want to create pages about best restaurants in city. First, we'll replicate our page template fields by creating the necessary fields using drag and drop. We have a hero section with a featured image, a heading, a subheading, and a testimonial. We already have our heading, which is the title. For the subheading, use the multi-line element, drag and drop it onto the content template, and rename it to subheading. For the testimonial, use another multi-line element and label it testimonial. For the featured image, use an image URL element and name it featured low dash image. Next, we have a section with a title, some content, and an embedded Google map on the right. Let's create these fields quickly using a rich text element for the content. Lastly, we have a call to action section for our landing page with a title, so let's add that as well. Now that we have all our fields for our content template, let's add a data set and craft some content for our page. I've already uploaded a data set and crafted content for each field. As I mentioned earlier, the title is very important. In this case, Discover, Explore, Uncover the best restaurants in variable city will generate nine pages because we have nine rows in our data set. Adding variable country to the title would create combinations resulting in 81 pages, but we'll stick with the simpler example for now. For the rest, we can leverage powerful features like variables, spin syntax, and generative AI to craft unique and personalized content. If you haven't already, check out our videos dedicated to each of these powerful features. Now, it's time to generate the content and export it. Export in JSON. One, click on the Export in JSON button. Two, open the downloaded file in a code editing tool like VS Code. The generated content is in JSON format. Perfect if your website doesn't use a CMS. Send this JSON file to your developers and they'll know how to use it to display the content on your website. Export in CSV. One, click on the Export in CSV button. Two, open the file in Google Sheets. Go to Google Sheets. Click on File, then Import. In the Upload tab, upload your CSV file. There you go. You now have a spreadsheet with the output content. You can upload this Excel file into your CMS to create your pages based on your page template. That's it. By using custom fields, you can create a customized content structure 
that fits your page templates perfectly and export your content in the format that works best for you. Thanks for watching. By the way, I'm Min, the founder of SEOmatic.ai, a programmatic SEO tool designed to empower digital marketers like you to create, edit, and publish large-scale web pages for lead generation without relying on developers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or visit our website at seomatic.ai. Thanks and see you next time.